Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Play Dragon Quest VI for the Android iOS and mobile device. In the last episode, we defeated Glacos, and now we are here in Sorceria as we're learning more about Ash Lynn and her town that she was born in and all that stuff. Apparently, she is a scion, similar to Kane from... Uh, Legacy of Cain, but not as deadly. Anyways, let's check out some of the stuff that's here, like the armor shop. And the armor shop has some interesting stuff like magical shields, magical skirts, magical armor, which would actually be pretty decent if we don't already have the platinum gear. And magical skirts. And ledger mantles. We don't need any of that stuff. Yes, it is the magic. Well, actually, we didn't know it's the magic carpet, but he would not say that if you did not have it. He'd talk about like how there's a magic carpet out in the world. Da -de 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 -de. So yeah, we'll have to talk to the Sorens when we're done here to see if we can uh, get ourselves a uh, magic carpet. So here we want to eventually buy the wizardy whip. I don't have enough money for the fan. But yeah, I want to get this whip. I think I want to get it because the style is better. And I don't have enough money at the, this point. Uh, <clears throat> I could always sell those tuxes, but I'll do that later. But yeah, anything else? Not, not necessary. But yeah, this place is cool. The music is great. It's very magical and stuff. So yeah, this is the uh, goddess, magical goddess Ashmerelda, and apparently from her statuesque womb comes the scion of uh, Sorceria. And yeah, these orbs are kind of like a, like, I don't know, it's a, kind of almost a funny um, throw a throwback or something like Final Fantasy. You remember when they used to have orbs, and you just touch the orbs and you just heal up? I actually don't think they're a throwback to them. I just think that they're like, yeah, all right, orbs. Yeah, but can you imagine if, if if they sold these, you can use them? These are probably what Sages of Stones are made out of. So yeah, Ashlyn, she came from that statue, huh? Alright, so let's head down the stairs here. And here we can explore people's living quarters. And a mini metal. Oh dear god, you, you really got that stuff going pretty hot there. Yeah, cast responsibly. That's pretty funny. must cast responsibly if only you are willing to prevent forest fires. So yeah, the Sh Sorens apparently made Ashlyn's clothes. Look at that, Miss Fancy Pants Ashlyn again, custom equipment. Well, apparently she is the scion of Sorceria. Ashmerelda, she created the magic burst. And the only one who's ever been able to master it, besides what's her Ashla, Ashla, whatever her name was, Ashmerelda, is the Elder, is no more. Which I think, by the way, is a pretty stupid name. And you'll see why soon enough. Yep, so pretty much the items made with the, or the items, or the weapons that are made are like magical items although I don't think that they have any special use they might reduce the uh, spell damage at least the defensive equipment is I don't know if the other stuff does it'd be kind of cool if it like boosts your intelligence by like 10 or something or some sort of thing yeah so apparently the uh, they resurrect they put up a barrier 
so that we can't see the elderess, the elder lady, because she is in a weakened state. Now here's where she lives. She's not seeing a soul, huh? Hmm. Yeah, we never met an elders before. We've always met elders. So let's go inside. <clears throat> Alright, well. No one has anything to say. We're gonna go inside. What the hell? What are we, in an infinite loop? What about we go out? Oh my god. How do we get in there? Well, if you notice the, spi the sparkly stuff on the bottom, that is actually the sands of time or the sands of something. So what we need to do is take the sand urn that we had. Where the hell is it? Give it to Ashlyn. And Ashlyn has to use the sand urn to pick up the sands on the ground. And yeah, those are the sands of time. <clears throat> And we need to use that in order to enter. Otherwise, we would just continually go in an endless loop. And here we are! We are finally meeting the Elderess. There she is with her red hair. I don't remember if the um, in the original game she had an original sprite like that. She has a cough. She's sick. Yeah, I want to know magic burst. Oh, well, I know it's I know it was created here, but pretty much what magic burst does is it takes all your MP, drains it all, and hits the enemy or enemies for that much. Usually, it's divided by two. I think in this version they probably divide it by three. So, if it's three hundred MP, you do a hundred damage. At least that's what I think it is. And look at that. Ashlyn has learned Magic Burst. Yay! Yeah, so Is No More helped us learn this new spell that will help take down the Dread Fiend. Or the Arch Fiend. Oh, shit! She just got hit by a lightning bolt. Yeah, and this is why she's called Is No More. She's pretty much going to die here. Alright. That's sad. You know, it's not like, it, you know, it's kind of sad, but it's not like... You remember back in Breath of Fire 3... Granted, I don't know if you've all been hanging out with me ever since then, but Breath of Fire 3, the Elder is like, yeah, I'll teach you these these abilities. And then he had, like, this whole thing, and, you know, you kind of, after he destroyed him, you kind of felt bad that he got destroyed. But, yeah, pretty much uh, so, uh, Magic Burst is a spell only Ashlyn can learn until we unlock a job class, a certain job class later, and then we can learn how someone else learn it. So yeah, Ashlyn is actually next in line to become the Elderess of Sorceria. And that's why she has infinite magic powers. And as you can see, she's now called the Scion of Sorceria. So there you go. She has a new title. And now this actually gives Ashlyn a reason why she w really wants to, uh, you know... She wants to join or do battle. Because before she was walking around aimlessly, not knowing her purpose in the world, but now she has a purpose. So we're pretty much done with this. Pl well, not yet. We're actually not done yet now that I'm thinking about it. We have one last thing we have to do. And that is we gotta go visit the Sorens. Because they should be up now. Uh, 
All right. Oh, so she said farewell to you in your mind. That's sad. Yeah, so I'm assuming that these people are like her grandparents or something. They took care of her. Maybe not blood related, but you know, they took they took care of Ashlyn when she was a wee babe. Yeah, see? They made clothes for her. They even had they they weaved a flying carpet for her. And at this point, if you didn't have the flying carpet from the uh, fashion thing, you can you 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 can always come back and have them do it. But yeah, they pretty much hit us with some magical spells, and now we can actually uh, fly around the world with our magic carpet. And that would make what? Let's see. We have a magic carpet. We have a flying bed. We have a ship. We have a floating island. And we have a submarine type thing. So if right now we have five modes of transportation. The magic carpet can only be used in the real world. The... Um... The flying bed obviously can only stick in the dream world. And yeah. So let's warp over the fashion forge. Cause the next area we wanna go to, we had honestly I probably could just use the uh, the carpet to get there, but I, I'm gonna use the boat. I wonder if I could use the carpet just to get there. We'll have to try in the next episode. Alright, so now that we have the magic carpet for the real world and we can fly just like just like the flying bed we can honestly do a lot more now um there's a lot of things that we can do so a couple of the things you can do is you can actually go and collect some of the legendary weapons which is what i'm probably going to do next and i want to come over here because if you remember correctly um I forgot all about Poseidon. He said he was going to give us a secret if we beat uh, uh, Gracos, and we did beat him. So I want to come over here. This is the closest area, and we're going to explore this area later. I believe this is called like Felonia, and we'll come over here and we'll we'll check it out later. But for right now, I just want to um have that on the warpy thing and see if the ship shows up. But yeah, so, so like I said, there's a couple things now that we can do. We can go and unite the hero with his uh, himself, find out where he's at. We can collect legendary item, or or we can collect, we can start to collect the legendary gear, and that's pretty much it. Then we can check out this side town here. But I want to wait till we get another character before I check this place out. Um, let's see. Yeah, so apparently, um, you know, I can't find Poseidon, or the ship isn't over there, it won't go over there. But yeah, let's put Ashlyn back in the back, because we don't want her to, uh, get wrecked. Alright, so let's use Lorelai's thing, and we're gonna go over to, uh, we're gonna go over to, uh, what the hell is it? Uh, Poseidon's thing, because he said he is going to give us a secret. Now, there are three main secrets that you need in order to get the... I think it's the shield? Because there's like this really confusing cave, and you kind of need to know how to get through there. And throughout your travels, there's actually three, three clues that you get. And the interesting thing about the Super Famicom version, or the Super Nintendo version of this game, is they had an ability called Recall, or Forget. And pretty much what they did was they... Yeah, let's heal up. But uh, pretty much what happened was they gave you the ability to remember certain characters... Uh, certain characters, um, like, conversations... So, you can remember the three conversations, and yeah, uh, Millie's almost done with her thing there. 
But yeah, you can remember conversations that you've had with certain NPCs. And that was kind of, uh, that was kind of, um, <clears throat> that was good. They tried to do that in Dragon Quest III for the Super Famicom, but, um, the people who translated the game, uh, it got glitched out, and, uh, it doesn't work very good. But yeah, it kind of worked a little bit in this game. So yeah, we beat Gracchos, and now he's gonna give us a secret concerning the Legendary Shield. You have to go up three levels, or down three levels, and up two. And yeah, so there's three secrets to the thing. Although, if we, when we go to that cave, it shouldn't be too difficult. But the first thing we're actually going to do is I'm going to start my search for the legendary equipment. And by doing that, I am actually going to... We're going to go up to the legendary sword first. Because what, what better to have than a really amazing weapon, right? So that's what we're going to go after first. A really awesome weapon. And, uh, yeah. Let us warp to, I think, Pescado is the best place to go. Because, um, it's the closest. Honestly, I could probably use the flying carpet and just fly there, but I go underneath the water here. You probably don't need to do that. You just have to head south. Now, do you remember there was an old man who mentioned something about south of here there's like an icy village or something and that's where the um that's where the uh legendary sword is being held and that's where we're headed to be honest i don't know why i went in the water now i'm thinking about it but whatever but i think what's going to happen is before i actually head off to deal with the legendary, again, the legendary sword, I am actually going to, uh, oh look, there's a little house over here, but what I'm actually going to do is just do a little bit of backtracking, I'm going to head back to the slime, this is going to happen in the beginning of the next episode, I'm going to head to the slime arena, get myself whatever I missed, and then I'm going to head back to uh, Glacos's uh, lair, and I'm going to get uh, that mini metal that I missed. But yeah, we're inside this little inn, and this is, uh, some of these guys are going to give us some clues on what's going to happen next, and what predicament are we going to run into here. 50 years late, what do you mean? What do you mean by 50 years late? Yeah, is the legendary sword not there anymore? Did someone steal it? Who the hell is Ali Kazam? Yes, I am here. Oh, he's dead. You think he's dead? That was over 50 years ago. Yeah, maybe he lives forever. Maybe he's a, uh, some sort of ice walker. Maybe he's a white walker and he's living forever. So yeah, pretty much uh, we found out that we need some magic words to lift a curse or something. This sounds like a job for us. But yeah, there's a lot of things you could do. Again, the world is more, even more open now, especially the real world. But yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. And then in the next episode, we're going to head back to the slime arena. Glacos is, gra how, what do I keep saying? Glacos is lair. And then we're going to, uh, and then we're going to come back over here, and then we're going to continue on looking for the legendary sword. So I've been Kenshin1913, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you later. I know this is a little bit of a short one, but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Sometimes they're a little short. I've been Kenshin1913, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.